happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is sure to show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Allow me to be here. I'm going to pass it. I just want everyone to stand now with the choir if you can.
besties. We zien je. Zo wat je te zoos. En wat je. Thank you. 
God, we truly, Lord God, uh, receive your blessings, Lord God, and declare over our very lives that we are yet blessed, Lord God. Blessed in the city, blessed in the field, Lord God. Blessed coming in and blessed going out of God. Father God, we just thank you, Lord God, for everything that has taken place and transpired thus far. Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God, for your presence, God. For we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Oh, Lord God, it's in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We, we glorify you, Lord God, and we bless your holy name, Lord God. And even as we come to this juncture in service, God, Lord God, we just ask, Lord God, that you open up the heavens, Lord God. Give us fresh oil, Lord God, yes. from on high, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, assassinate us, Lord God, now in your anointing, God. Mm -hmm. And then take us, Lord God, and bring us out, Lord God, where your anointing will flow from heart to heart and breast to breast, God. God, I'm thankful, Lord God, for every individual, Lord God, that you have allowed to be in our presence on this day, God. Lord God, how you have covered us, Lord God, protected us, Lord God. Lord God, you didn't allow us to fall, Lord God, if we continue to lean upon your everlasting arm. God, it's in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We need you right now, Lord God. Well, Lord God, we cannot make a move, Lord God, without you, Lord God. Can't even walk, Lord God, without you holding our very hands. And now, Lord God, it's in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you touch each individual one by one, God. And then touch us all, Lord God, collectively, Lord God. Lord God, that we will find ourselves, Lord God, in oneness, Lord God, in one accord, God. And Lord God, just remind us, Lord God, that where Ever the spirit of the Lord is. God, we have liberty in you, God. God, it's in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for your joy, God. We pray for your peace, Lord God. Oh God, we come leaning not to our own understanding, but we acknowledge you, God, as being God all by yourself. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we commend it all over into your hands. God, have your way, Lord God, in this place. Lord God, have your way with your people, God. It's in the blessed name of Christ Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you know that you are blessed? How many of you know that you are blessed? Bless going in and blessed coming out. Hallelujah. For the Lord have his hands upon you. And for therefore we are blessed. We just glorify God and we just thank God for uh, his many, many blessings. We thank God for our uh, youth that have allowed the Lord to use them. Yes. So 
so many, so many uh, great things in our very lives. We, we want to, uh, for uh, a few moments this afternoon and invite your attention to uh, the book of Psalms and Psalms 34. The book of Psalms and Psalms number 34. Book of Psalms. And we'll be uh, reading that from uh, the King James Authorized Version. Book of Psalms and the Psalms uh, 34. And we'll begin with verse number 15. Book of Psalms and Psalms 34, begin with verse number 15. You will find um, these words. Recording. It says that the eye of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, and to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And the righteous cry, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all of their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as of a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord deliver them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous should be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him should be desolate. Again, verse number 18 says, The Lord is not. Uh, to them that are of a broken heart and save as such as to be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. We thank God for the reading and blessing of his all very blessed word. Just for a few moments this afternoon, we want to uh, talk from the subject, uh, the beauty in your brokenness. The beauty in your brokenness. Brokenness is something that none of us can avoid in life. Uh, if you uh, have breath in your body, and you are living life, you're not going to be able to avoid brokenness. Uh, whether it be a broken promise, a broken relationship, broken bones, or whatever may take place in your very life, we are not going to avoid brokenness. But when we uh, consider who God is, uh, when we understand that uh, David and, 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 and Psalm 46 uh, uh, begin to declare that the Lord is my refuge in my strength, uh, when we understand that, that, that some of the uh, uh, life hardships and some of the things that we have experienced in their very lives, but yet and still, we are still standing. Uh, when we understand that even uh, it might have been from your, 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 your very uh, 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 childhood that uh, you might have uh, 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 been uh, uh, abandoned, or, or, or you might have to be uh, uh, raised uh, by somebody else besides your parental parents, but yet and still, God was able to uh, uh, allow you uh, uh, 
to allow others to see uh, even the beauty in your brokenness. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that there are situations or, or, or circumstances beyond your very control that you might have to be a, 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 a single mother or a single father, but yet and still God was able to allow you to persevere even in the midst of your struggle, and yet and still you understand the fact that there is even beauty in your brokenness. I can, I can, I can, I can look at different uh, uh, parts of my body, and and I can see scars. And I want you to understand every scar that I have, it has a story. But we understand, my brothers and sisters, we gotta get to a place to understand and to realize that God is still able to do exceeding and above everything that we can imagine. I don't care. Some of us, some of us have had broken hearts. But no matter how bad your heart was broken, uh, you understand that your heart kept beating. Uh, what happens when we have a broken heart, what God will do, God will, will, will allow, allow, and God will uh, begin to put seeds in that crack and then the rain comes. Anybody here ever had to cry sometimes? Anybody have to be so broken hearted that you begin to shed tears? But what them tears were doing, it was watering the seed that God had took into your thing. And when you were at the point not believing that you will be able to love again, and God yet allowed your life to roll on, and you found yourself in a place that you could love again. My God, I was just stopping by to let you know uh, there could come out beauty in your brokenness. See, see sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes we we uh, we overlook what God is yet doing in the midst of our individual lives. We 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 discovered uh, we discovered something even uh, in our uh, men's prayer breakfast on. Uh, on yesterday, yet, uh, and uh, we we know um, we uh, you know uh, Brendan might uh, be a young man that's uh, highly rambunctious. He 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 might. Uh, um, be the one that's a little high strung, uh, a little curious, but don't get it twisted. When he began to participate in the me and prayer breakfast on yesterday and when you didn't have to ask him to pray, he started praying on his own. See, so see, that took me to uh, another insight that no matter all the negative you may say, that God is yet doing uh, something on the inside of him. Uh, and what he's doing on the inside of him, uh, he's making beauty out of what you call brokenness. I, I come to, to, to let somebody know that, 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 that the artist Kingsbury, uh, what he would do, uh, the Kingsbury, uh, in, in making his art, uh, he would take uh, broken pieces uh, and put them together in all of the flaws. Uh, he would take gold and put it on the floor and make uh, a perfect uh, a beautiful picture. Uh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You must understand that uh, all of us in here have some type of flaw. But my brothers and sisters, uh, God is such a, a, a mastermind and God has made uh, all of our broken pieces uh, a masterpiece where we don't look like uh, what we have been through. Uh, God will, 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 turn uh, your morning uh, into a 
from Florida. Anybody here knows that when you title yourself with the Lord, even in your brokenness, anybody in the house ever had to cry from that? Anybody has been on the verge of giving up? God will uh, turn your brokenness uh, into beauty. What for the writer? The writer is David. And Dave, David, David uh, has uh, uh, King uh, Eliminic uh, was making uh, David's uh, life a hell. Uh, but but uh, how do you know uh, that the fire will refine you? You got to understand, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, that when, uh, before the, the farmer sows his seed, uh, oh, he got to break up the ground. He began to break up the ground and begin to sow the seeds and then throw the dirt on you. Oh, my brothers and sisters, don't you understand that a lot of times our lives will go through a, a hellish situation. People will throw dirt on you. But my brothers and sisters, what they're doing, they're paralyzing your spirit. That you gonna pray for uh, a harvest uh, in your two season. Uh, see some are, some are, some are, uh, uh, because uh, uh, we we uh, we done been through some mess uh, and we done had some mess thrown on. Uh, but look at us now. Uh, the thing that they were trying, uh, the devil was trying to destroy us. Uh, but what God was doing, uh, God was refining us. Uh, I I've been through the flood, but my God brought me out just like pure gold. I had some broken moments in the midst of my life where I wanted to give up, but let it still, God will allow you to come out of your broken situation, your broken relationship, your broken promises. Oh, the, God has uh, uh, turned that brokenness uh, uh, into some beauty. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You see, uh, if you knew uh, what some of the folk had been through, uh, oh, hallelujah, that's for seven right beside you, uh, you'll probably get up and move to another seat. Uh, but my God, uh, but my God, uh, I'm telling you, in the midst of my brokenness, my God has looked beyond my fault and met my every need. Anybody here in the midst of it knows that sometimes there have been some broken vows, but my God was able to look beyond and bear their fault and meet our needs. David. David is uh, uh, letting them know uh, uh, that even uh, when the whole world was against me, uh, but I had God uh, who was on my side. I thought about it to let you know, uh, just keep hanging out with Jesus. The word of God said, uh, if you abide in me and I abide in you, uh, then you can ask of anything and it'll be given unto you. A uh, bag simply mean to hang around. Oh, hallelujah. If you just keep hanging around Jesus, Jesus is going to bring the beauty out of you. The word of God said everything God made, it was beautiful. And every now and then, you got to go through some hell. You got to deal with some brokenness before God can. Feel 
Gone. God that declared that we were fearfully and wonderfully made. A lot of times, a lot of times, we 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 miss the beauty out of an individual because we look at it with physical eyes. Oh, hallelujah! But God, God lets us know that the beauty is on the inside. That's why in Proverbs he said, "Don't look at the beauty of a woman." Oh, her eyelashes. And I understand them because uh, her eyelashes might be not be real anyhow. But God is saying, uh, we got to, uh, don't look at it. But if you want to find uh, a practice woman, uh, you better look uh, into to her inner beauty. Stop looking uh, at what you see on the outside. God uh, wants you to see. What is that place on the inside? And a lot of times we get it twisted. See, we have a, a way of covering up our brokenness. Huh? See, uh, Mary Kay helps with a lot of it. Uh, huh? Uh, can, can, can we be real? Uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, we, we, we can put makeup uh, over uh, our hurt. But honey, until uh, you give your brokenness to God, uh, oh hallelujah, they make up my heart a black eye. Uh, but my God, uh, God will, uh, you got to understand, uh, when, when you allow God to start mending uh, your brokenness, uh, oh hallelujah, uh, some of us, uh, the strength that we have uh, is only because uh, we have been broken. And when God men and set you back together, you're stronger than you ever been. We have a broken bone. If they said it correctly, put a cast on it. When it come back together, it's stronger than it was before it broke. And we gotta understand some of the stuff that you went through. Guess what? Some of us uh, have learned uh, from broken marriages, uh, from broken relationships. It was a learning curve for many of us. Uh, what was trying to break us, uh, it was the beauty out of us. Uh, see, see, uh, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when folk know and that you done been uh, through some situation. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, they just like the buzzers, uh, just sitting on the fence, uh, just waiting for something to die. Uh, oh, hallelujah. But if you know uh, who your maker is, uh, if you know uh, who your healer is, uh, my word tell me, uh, he's the bomb uh, in Gilead. Uh, I know uh, He's able to heal even a constrained spirit. My God is able, and even though I've been broken, I serve a God that put me back together. How do you know that hop the dump there sat on the wall and hop the dump there had a great fall? All the king horsemen and all the king men couldn't. Back together again. And the reason is because they didn't go to the king. If you go to the king, they went. They went to the king horseman. 
And the king's men, instead of going to the king, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, I want you to understand, ain't no psychiatrist, ain't no counselor can fix you like Jesus can fix you. If you trust in the Lord and know that God have a plan for your very life, when you trust in God and allow God to work out, in the midst of your life, God will bring you out as pure gold. See, see, sometimes, sometimes we, the enemy, the enemy want us to be ashamed of our brokenness. Um, but when uh, when God uh, knows all about your brokenness, uh, understand uh, and that God is uh, still uh, uh, working it out. Uh, I want you to understand I've been in this way uh, for a long time, uh, but I'm still uh, on the, uh, the potter's wheel. Uh, and every, every now and then, uh, when, when I, uh, I'm so glad uh, that the potter himself uh, sees some flaws in me uh, that I can't even recognize myself. Uh, there, was, there was a man and uh, in, 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 uh, he found uh, he found this face uh, uh, on the side of the beach uh, and, and, and he went and he took it home and, and that face was all cloudy and, and that face was, uh, didn't look like anything. Oh hallelujah. But when, when uh, uh, the man uh, begin to polish uh, uh, the base. Uh, when the man begins to uh, work with the base, uh, I just want to under you to understand uh, you don't see the finished project uh, because God is uh, do, uh, still working on me. Uh, and every now and then, uh, when I think that I done got to the point uh, where I done arrived, uh, every now and then, uh, the potter uh, with the wheel, uh, and he began uh, to uh, begin to, to turn uh, the potter's wheel, uh, and the clay that's on the potter, uh, he began to look at it, uh, and it only get to the part uh, where he think he finished with it, uh, and he began, uh, he began to look and see some defects uh, or see some flaws. He would get the sandpaper out. And every now and then, when God get the sandpaper out uh, on that very line uh, and begin uh, to smooth up some stuff uh, in that very line. Oh, every now and then, uh, it don't feel good. Uh, but God is taking us uh, to the process. Uh, look at your neighbor and say,
break the bones in his leg or he will be in broken for our brokenness. Oh, hallelujah. And it doesn't make no difference what they did to our Savior, how they whipped him, even beyond recognition, even when they pierced him and the blood and the water came streaming down. But how do you know? And that wasn't the beauty of the story. Because on the third day, he got out with all power in his hand. And what he had been through, what he had been broken for your sins and for my sins. And now we become his masterpieces. We were fearfully and wonderfully made. How many know everybody every now and then some folk will look at you and talk about she thinks she's somebody. Oh, don't get it twisted. I know I'm somebody because I am a child of the king. I know who I am and I know whose I am. And just because you saw me in my broken, in my broken, in my broken season, wait for the next episode because God is going to bring me out in the beauty of his holiness. Stop looking. Get past the past. When you get past the past, God will heal and mend everything that's broken in you. Christ got up. Christ got up with all power in his hand. See, I, I, I just need, uh, I just need uh, a, a few folk uh, and that's in the house to uh, just be honest and real with themselves. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, if you ever uh, uh, been to your ends with, uh, if you ever been so uh, frustrated in life uh, and that you was on the verge uh, of giving up, uh, but then uh, you decided uh, to trust in Jesus. Uh, you decided uh, to hold on uh, to God's unchanging hand. Uh, oh, I believe somebody ought to be giving God uh, a hallelujah praise uh, in the house. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, when they walked out the door on you uh, and you thought, uh, thought your life was top the turvy, uh, you thought that you could never love again, uh, but then you found the love of God uh, on the inside, I declare unto you, I don't care who you meet in life, can't nobody love you like the Lord love you, can't nobody hold you like the Lord hold you, can't nobody soothe you like the Lord soothe you, when you think about being in the hands and in the arms of the Lord, hallelujah, sight uh, when you've been broken uh, but yet it's still uh, God didn't throw you in the trash but God we find you uh, God took your brokenness uh, and looked at your brokenness uh, and said guess what uh, I can turn it uh, into a masterpiece yeah. Yeah. hallelujah yeah. hallelujah the devil was on the sidelines. Hallelujah. Waiting, waiting for you to fall. How many you know that the base isn't given to the Swiss? Nor is it given to the strong. See, 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 in order for, in order for, your beauty to be revealed you have to sometimes go do some stuff you know 
when uh, I see Sister Carolyn and she preparing to bake these cakes and she got the butter in the microwave and she break the eggs and put all the greens in the bowl and she she uh, uh, and once you once you notice notice this and you see all that stuff in there before it get mixed up. I, I wonder why when we was kids we wanted to lick the cake bowl. <laughs> That I'm, I'm grown and I see uh, all the, the all the ingredients in it. Uh, but even in that, but then uh, uh, you have to uh, preset that oven to about 400 degrees, and and then you put it in the oven and and you wait on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all know uh, when. Back in the in the day, uh, most of our houses didn't have level flows in it anyhow. So while they were baking the cake, you 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 had to sit down and be still because they were scared that cake gonna fall. I couldn't understand it because um, the cake was in the oven, the cake was on the oven back. How the cake gonna fall? <laughs> But, but, but anyway, the, you put it in uh, the oven and when that oven, when that cake comes out of the oven, uh, it has a, a, a different look to it. And, and then there's a, a cooling down spirit. Wait for it to, to cool down and I don't eat a caramel cake, so I ain't gonna say nothing about no caramel. But she, she, she put that German chocolate stuff on it. And now, what I saw at the beginning in the bowl is now transpiring to a masterpiece. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop. Looking uh, at individuals that are in the prep stage. Because uh, that's not uh, what God is about to reveal. Stop looking at them when uh, they're going through and they're hurting. Uh, what you have to do with great uh, anticipation, uh, you have to wait on it. Uh, hallelujah. Some, some, some of that stuff, you got to watch to the end in order to see uh, uh, the results that come through it. Oh, hallelujah. I might have some dark days. I might have some weary nights. But wait on it. God is not through with me yet. I might be built, broken uh, into bits and pieces. But I serve a God that is a God uh, that is able uh, to mend me together. And guess what? You can't even see my flaws. Hallelujah. See, if you if you've been through something, you can relate to what I'm talking about. God kept me. Huh? God kept me. When I was on the verge of uh, losing my mind. God kept me. I never knew a love like this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm, 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 uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm like Fred Sanford. Uh, you know, I'm not, but I love that man. Huh? All my soldiers are still marching, but I love, I love that man. Because there you'll never find another love 
like the love of Christ. He died for me when I couldn't uh, do it for myself. He took my brokenness and it brought out the beauty in you also. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. There may be one.